stabilize my T-Rex. Body of the life force. basically like a tree when you plant knowledge so you have to go to the core you have to go to the roots you have to go to the point of creation and seed knowledge in there and even then you know I'm asking myself well <laughs> only because I think these values these ideas might be good should I plant these seeds now I was planting them so let's see how they grow mm. and the body of the life force that is you know in this illusion -y tracks because the things around me adapt pretty fast to what I perceive in my mind and that may sound kind of absurd to many people but you know when I just observe like um, other internet phenomena I take a look at my surroundings it becomes kind of obvious to me that these are reflections now either way if I stabilize, stabilize my body, I stabilize the things around me. And this has something to do with, you know, the neuromelanin, which might be called the force that is in everybody. Or the Kundalini energy. You know, this is why I tell you, you know, whatever type of movement style you do, For me, you know, I try to get out of these K's, you know, and to like go more onto the A side of the vinyl, and then you know, connect it with also the subconscious, so the B, right? And then, if you have this, basically, what falcons do, you know, you, you go into your subconscious mind, everything around you just starts to change, it becomes very dark then you pull but th this is where you plan and where you see it and where you also gain knowledge knowledge of self gnosis and then you <coughs> you take that knowledge and you transfer it to the conscious see m m not many people are even aware of what is happening now I'm not here to be like ah oh, I hex you and that's not my interest <laughs> because my interest is always you know, to find a way to support, to heal, and to help. You know, I was playing Team Fortress too, and I was like, a lot of times, main times, I was playing a medic, but I was always, you know, like high ranked, like on top. Why? Because the funny thing is, if you imagine if you would, if, if there would be a war, but you just don't participate in it, you all do all your things from at home. And now, imagine you would go to war, but you would only heal people. Strange, huh? Yeah, that what that's what a shaman medic would do on the front line. Like diplomacy. And, you know, that's why um, I'm telling you, you know, <laughs> I can tell you, you know, a lot of solutions to your problems, which are funny enough, in the end, only reflections of myself, which I see in my own mirrors. So if I, you know, how reality might work, 
and what basically cures is well I, I don't <laughs> I don't want to say that you don't exist but we might be all one so we uh, might be all neo cortex you know and then this is how the matrix works you know the grid works and I, I had this this picture of a meditating Buddha where you would only see the nervous system and you know the blood flow system sitting in meditation onto a matrix grid so only a net and you know in the in the horizons would be um, mountains this also you know connects to Patagonia funny enough my girlfriend is called Gona see this is all into web and I'm like yo you <laughs> Like, I only see reflections, and I only see, like, what... <laughs> this is what you really wake up to and shit. Now, what would Neo do? Neo would fight all the agents. But, you know, if we would talk with Morpheus, Morphin, <laughs> um, you would only see white. The surface would be completely white. Now... And then you know you wake up to the shit and you're like oh you pull all these things out of you which gets into fasting and feasting and to refill your body then you know that's basically the pro level of shamanism now um you know there are so many different timelines and realities because i might say you know there are other living souls but their reality might look completely different to mine but maybe they don't exist. I don't know. You know, I don't know. No, but still, I would like to help out. I would like to support. I would like to to reach out and help. Oh, Verwandlungskünstler. Yeah, that's what I'm. You know, like shapeshifter. Like all oh, shapeshifter are aliens. You know. Well, basically, it's called teenage mutant. Ninja turtles. Because if you have the X gene, which everybody has, you know, and <laughs> you start to like mutate. Now, and it, the, the core values for me are, you know, truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. And, you know, acceptance, forbearance. forbearance. So, if I accept, a lot of things, you know. Everything falls into black. You know, everything falls into the melanin, into uh, dark light consciousness, into antimatter, black goo, you know. And that's why I say also reality is moldable. It's strange, right? Reality is moldable. Because if everything is black goo, which I literally experience, then like if you have a piece of it you would just you know form and shape it and your reality might look completely different from one day to another because that's what alchemy does so the things you ingest things you sense that's why i say you know oh here we are you know you wake up to the shit and you're like oh it was all a dream it was all myself so this is why I can, you know, offer. Um, you know, it's not like that you have to connect to anything. You could just fly around, you know, and, because there's only yourself. But if I stabilize my body, the force which sits in me, the four elements, you know, earth, fire, water, and air, and ether, oh, there might be five elements and force so um, if you work with that you have Orion in the middle which is Orion's belt which is urine so basically if you start to do that um, <laughs> you might figure out how this reality actually works you know? and basically maybe I'm, I'm still sitting in kinder shoes
you know, what did God tell you? Bring heaven on earth. You know, bring head onto the heart. So you endure hardship. And this is the absurd thing with it. Because, yeah. Then you start to adjust things, they drag you down, then you counter that with certain other things. You know, right? But basically, it's all, it's all mind. So this is why, you know, martial arts and transmutation and um, movement is important to um, stabilize the body. Now, stabilizing the body equals and stabilizing the environment. As it sounds Bruce Lee shit. But like I said, you know, stable everything as within, so without. Like as above, so below. And you, <laughs> so basically, only walk around in your own mind. Now, if you understand that concept, you can start to work with it, and this gets into a, like completely different reality. Because you like literally start to see what and how and who you are. Like, where is actually Jan? I think I... Uh, uh, where's T at? I lost him in the mirror. <laughs> Verb T. I think I became somebody else. And nothing can help. Still I feel under a spell. Are you functioning well? Where's Tia? I lost him in the mirror. <laughs> Medicate, then it won't hurt. Trust me, now nah, that shit don't work. Medicate, then it won't hurt. Trust me, now nah, that shit don't work. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, falling down was good. Truthfulness, compassion, tolerance. Um, the, the force, the four owls, and you know, stabilize my tricks, my tricks, my my tricks, or the matris, or the maat tricks. Well, uh, Kevin, or Kermit? Uh, well, it was a show. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this one. And in the end, you know, uh, stabilize yourself, love yourself. And see yourself in the reflection and uh, give other souls room to experience themselves. I love you. Take care.